What's up guys and what's new? I chose to do this video from what I was talking about in the Velociraptor video, so check that out as well. For this dinophile, we're focusing on Archaeopteryx, a strange creature whose name means ancient wing. From discoveries, we know it had black feathers, sharp teeth, and a long bony tail, all while being the size of a crow. In the 19th century, Charles Darwin studied the animal and used it to explain the origins of birds and even considered it an early bird. However, there have been discussions on whether this is true, as some say it could be classed as a dinosaur, the reptilian-like animals that dominated the earth millions of years ago. Dinosaurs came in all shapes and sizes, but still shared many structural similarities with Archaeopteryx as they even existed in the same era, giving them the name avian dinosaurs. On the other hand, birds, the descendants of dinosaurs, are also argued to be the class of Archaeopteryx, as they both had feathers, but also they shared similar adaptions for flight. For example, scientists have discovered that Archaeopteryx's bones were hollow and light, like bird bones. However, with this information, it is now highly likely that the animal flew like pheasants. If they had to flee from a predator, they will make a very quick ascent, typically followed by a very short burst of gliding and then making a runner's escape afterwards. Archaeopteryx lived in the Jurassic 150 million years ago, meaning that earlier types of flight could have evolved ages ago. So overall, Archaeopteryx was the avian dinosaur that pioneered flight for its bird descendants. So, with Velociraptors and Archaeopteryx with bird-like features, how reptilian in appearance were the dinosaurs? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I would appreciate if you could drop a like and subscribe and feel free to check out the FX promo for more on this channel. Well, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and see you soon. FX over and out.